The US Fish and Wildlife Service got petitioned to list the alligator snapping turtle as a federally threatened species and they gave us in the state of Florida grant money to do status surveys, um, uh, assessments of the populations in both of our states to provide them with the information they need in making that listing decision. So we've contracted out with uh, the Jones Ecological Research Center to resurvey the Flint River um, for uh, the current status of the alligator snapping turtle. It's been 20 years, over 20 years since the status of the species was assessed in this drainage. And at that time, uh, it was found to have been heavily depleted by past commercial um, trapping. That survey was the basis for the species being state listed in Georgia as a threatened species and therefore it became protected and commercial take was no longer allowed. So today is our first um, trapping effort on the river uh, based out of uh, Montezuma area and in 13 traps set overnight we caught one individual which is a not a very good number um, for for a healthy population but this is only one stretch of of this river and we definitely need to put in way more trapping effort to to get a real good handle on it i think it's too early to say that what we came up with today is an indication of what we're going to see uh, on the rest of the river we kind of have to survey the whole river to get a good idea of, of uh, the population throughout other species uh, that we found today um, include the spiny softshell. I think we caught five of them, um, uh, three pretty good sized females. Um, no other turtle species were in the traps, but you got to keep in mind that most of the species of turtles that are in this river are diurnal, they're active during the day, and these traps were set to target nocturnal species. Um, so if, if we were to have left them all through the day, I think we would have caught other species that we commonly see when we uh, cruise up and down the river basking on logs, which we have today. Things like river cooters, barber's map turtle, which is another species that's been petitioned for federal listing and which the Jones Center uh, and DNR are going to be involved in. Um, surveys for uh, to inform fish and wildlife on their status. Yesterday when we were setting traps we saw four different species of snakes um, on the riverside. We saw uh, rough green snake, black rat snake, red belly water snake, and brown water snake, and we saw a pretty large alligator. 